guys, Rob from Royal Balls. Um, I'm standing here now with my newly imported rack from China. Um, I've been planning an upgrade to the snake room for some time now. Um, I've got a number of snakes that are outgrowing their tubs, uh, a couple of Borneo short tailed pythons, and some of my larger breed of females are starting to outgrow the tubs that they're in. So uh, we have an upgrade. This is a, a significant upgrade from the tubs that they used to be in. This is a 40 by 80 system and it's uh, 2 by 8 and it's going to replace these 35 by 45 tubs um, and I have two 5 high racks there so I'm replacing 10 tubs with 16 of these tubs so both a significant size upgrade and also a capacity upgrade. Um, there's plenty of videos out there about making your own racks and uh, some of the guys out there do an outstanding job if you have the patience um, and the skill you can make your own racks. I've tried and it's not for me. So obviously we can't import racks from the US out here in Malaysia. The, um, the shipping costs would be prohibitively expensive. Um, it would cost more to ship them than it, the, the racks are actually worth. So, um, working with a friend of mine uh, who also breeds snakes, um, he highlighted for me a company in China that has just started to build uh, snake racks. These are probably a copy of something. I haven't seen any quite like this. Um, but they are extremely good quality. And as I said, for us here in Malaysia, it represents a, uh, a significant um, uh, opportunity to, to bring some quality items in uh, from abroad. There are local manufacturers who are improving all the time, uh, but I thought I would try these racks here because it is uh, very professional. It's very sturdy, as you can see. Um, it's built of steel with quality fittings. It came flat packed and weighs 150 kilos. And each of the individual layers is, is built up separately, so you can add layers to these uh, racks as you as you see fit. So I'm just building up the, the last layer. There are six of these very strong metal legs that just screw into the top of the leg underneath. Each of these legs has a, uh, a bolt which is blind at one end and has an allen key at the other end. That just screws into the the top of that one, which then screws into the top of this one. Nothing could be easier. So we just tighten those up onto the layer underneath. So, and the tub runners obviously sit on top of the rails here, but they have to sit underneath a lip in the in the shelf on the top. So, if we just have a quick look at the shelf, this is the next shelf that's going to come up. Which I'm going to fit on here. You can see it's again a quality item, half ventilated, and there are holes drilled in the top here, which I'm assuming are for fittings for heat mats, uh, which obviously I don't need here in the tropics. So I didn't order that. But in order to get these things on single handedly, I had to come up with a little dodge because these these do fit inside the the lip at the bottom.